Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hey, uh, if you're like me, uh, you might have uh, modified your arcade, but you have this big problem of what button is what? Is it A? Is it B? Is it X? Is it triangle? Uh, whatever your problem may be. So I decided, let's make some stickers for each of my buttons. Uh, so here, what I did is, you only need a few things for this. Um, I went to the store and I picked up some, uh, here there's some clear Avery, clear uh, address labels. And that's all you really need. Maybe a pair of scissors and a flathead screwdriver. So for this project, I'll show you how I did it. And if you like it, I'll leave links in the description for you and you can follow along and do however you'd like to do. So let me show you how I did it. So first thing is you're going to need to uh, <clears throat> use Microsoft Word. That's what I use. Uh, just the file that I will provide for you will be Microsoft Word. So here is a screen of all the buttons that will be on the file. You have a, I kind of made a kick button, uh, a punch button if you want to punch. And I did make A, B, X, Y. L1, R1, and at the bottom you'll have R2 and L2. Uh, if you're playing like X-Men, you'll have like a power attack button if you'd like to put that on there. And then I made some custom player 1, player 2, player 3, player 4, select buttons. And then if you use PlayStation on your emulator at all, here's the, each of the symbols for you. So let me show you how I did this. So first thing you're going to want to do is take your labels put it in your printer. Mine prints face down, so put it in there. Load it up. Don't worry about it if it asks you for plain white paper. Come over to the computer. All you need to do is just print it out. Print it out. It's asking me in my margins are pretty small. Just go ahead and still print it out. It'll work. Wait for your labels to print out. This should only take just a second. After your labels are uh, all printed out, go ahead and grab it off the printer. And uh, now we're going to need to cut them out. So here's our whole sheet of uh, buttons that have, after they've been printed out. Um, I will print it out some before, and so I already took the liberty of cutting it out, but all you need is a sharp pair of scissors, cut it out. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle, you can hopefully tell. Mine's not perfect by any means, I just kind of rough cut it. I didn't want to cut the black ink because that becomes noticeable, and it with being clear and underneath the plastic, uh, you won't even notice. Alright, so here let me show you. So on the side of your button, you'll see like little... Uh, press buttons where you can kind of help release it. Go ahead and just use a flathead screwdriver, push it in and push it up. You're going to need to kind of push it up as high as you can and you'll see a gap. You see that gap in there. And there's actually a white button. That's your actual button. The The color portion is just a cover lens for it. You're going to have to get in underneath there and then pry it up and then it all comes out together. So it's actually, it's actually two pieces. So there, I'll take out that button I printed up before. You can just kind of stick it on there however you'd like. I'll just put it on there roughly quickly. And make sure there's a little, see this part without the tang on there. It's just actually, uh, or without the clip, that's actually a guide. If you see on the side of your button, you'll see where a little kind of groove it slides in there. Just stick it in there. And that's what your button looks like. Go ahead and just put everything back together. Clips in. I have a button and that's what it looks like when it's finished so like here would be a kick button and I did another one here's a punch button here's a start button so there you have it uh, hopefully uh, something you'd like to uh, try out on your arcade and if you like it go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions please let me know and uh, thanks for watching